Yes, uh, good morning. I'm happy to welcome you to this class. Uh, this is your technology one, where in the previous class I'd given you the course outline. So we'll start straight from covering the units. We are we'll start with topic one, which is uh, uh, introduction to geotechnology one. Introduction to geotechnology one to geotechnology one. Geotechnology one. And uh, the first term that we have to define is about the soil because the technology uh, majorly occur is about soil. In other units, in other courses, they are calling it uh, soil mechanics. So you can say soil, definitions of soil, and you can say soil is a naturally occurring loose material covering the earth surface and support the growth of plants and living organisms naturally occurring materials on the earth surface and support the life of plants and organisms then again you can talk about the weathering weathering and we can say that weathering is the process is the breakdown of rocks uh, or C2 the breakdown this is the breakdown of rocks in situ and it can occur in different form and it can occur in different form so we have uh, three types of weathering so types of weathering uh, types of weathering we can have physical weathering physical weathering we can have uh, chemical weathering chemical weathering again you can have what is called biological biological weathering and if you say uh, what do you mean when say uh, we have by saying physical weathering physical weathering we say this involves the breakdowns of rocks and uh, other materials through direct contact with the atmosphere the breakdowns of rocks through direct contact with the atmosphere and say uh, the soil formed due this, during this process is cohesionless and can be either be sand or gravel this is why I say it is physical there is no chemical in the process uh, there's no uh, there's no any change in the properties of these uh, rocks during the breakdown then we say about, when we talk about uh, chemical weathering we simply means the change of all the changes in the compositions of rock by decompos decomposing the parent minerals through the effect by action of chemicals so we have to put some chemical change to that uh, to break these bonds and chemical uh, weathering we say it can be in different form where it can either through oxidations through carbonations through hydrogen through and through leaching mm, that's how the three ways in which chemical weathering can take place and biological uh, weathering we uh, say this is the process of this is the process by which rock mass are being disintegrated through the actions of a microorganism so that will mark the file of this introduction part in the next class we'll be starting about talking about soil classifications where we have to do to classify different types of soil depending on their size and nature thank you